My Summer Car is a very difficult game for newcomers. In my opinion, it is the Dark Souls of life simulators. There is no beginner's tutorial, no inventory system, a very basic UI, and although it is enjoyable to tinker around your home and play around with the game's mechanics, in order to fully appreciate the game, a little help can go a long way to fully enjoying and appreciating the world. I had started this game so many times, but never actually got into it until I was finally given a quick two-day tutorial, and after that, my enjoyment of the game has increased tenfold. So here's everything you need to get started in my summer car. I strongly recommend installing a few mods so that your playthrough does not come to a halt unexpectedly due to a game-killing bug or some unfair twist of fate. The mods I recommend are MSC Editor, MSC Mod Loader, Carry More Backpack Mod, and Firewood Job Cooldown Mod. A link will be in the description below for each of these. The editor can be used if an item glitches into the world. You'll be able to teleport that item to another specific spot in the world so you can retrieve it. The mod loader is needed to actually be able to run all these mods. The carry more mod is used to allow you to carry up to 11 objects total, 10 stored in your backpack and the one in your hands. And the firewood job cooldown mod is used so you can change the rate at which you are able to deliver firewood. It is defaulted at 8 real-time hours per call, and that's just way too long. A more modest time would be 3 real-time hours per job, or even 1 hour per job. So now you have your mods installed, and you awaken day 1 in game. First thing you should do is to wander around and get used to the controls. I have a 12 button mouse, so I changed my mouse keybinds so that changing gears was made much simpler, and I also rebinded my backpack mod key. Next, put on your helmet and hop on the mo moped. You will have to turn on the fuel. Hop on and hit the kickstart a few times. Practice driving this moped down the road. Practice increasing and decreasing gears. Pay attention to your speed. The slower your speed, the less chance you have of flipping the moped. After you feel comfortable enough with your key bindings and with driving the moped, exit the game and restart your character. That's just so you get completely used to driving the moped, because so you, don't, you won't die when you're in, in quotations, the real game. So now, day one, the real game. First thing you should do is to get to the grocery store to stock up on supplies. Behind your home is your uncle's house, and behind his house is a woodshed. Head there, and pick up the diesel jerry can. Now head back to your house and head towards the dock. You can either take your moped or boat to get into town. In this tutorial, we will take the boat. Get in the boat that is located by the water near your home. Pull the handle and press the button on the motor by left clicking. Right clicking the button will put it in neutral and then reverse. Then head towards town. Once at town, fill up your diesel jerry can, then enter the store. Walk up to the cashier and pay for your diesel. Next, buy one yeast, two milk, three coffee, two two-cycle fuel, two charcoal bags, and four cases of beer. After you pay for the items, a grocery bag will be on the table filled with your food goods and all other items will be strewn across the floor. Add all items to your backpack. It should be perfectly 10. And then head back home.
Once you get home, leave the diesel jerry can outside. The rest of the food can be placed in the home wherever you would like. Put six sugar and one yeast in the sauna for later kielju production. Drink all six bottles of juice, concentrate, and leave the empty jugs in the sauna as well for the later kielju production. Head outside and install the two trailing arms on the Setsuma. This will start a hidden random game counter for your uncle to actually arrive in the game. And he is needed so that we will retrieve the keys and will actually be able to use his van. Now, take care of your food, thirst, take a shower, urinate, and head to the bathroom to save and exit the game. Re-enter the game, and the first thing is to turn on the light in the hallway. There is a chance that you will be woken up in the middle of the night from the phone, and it is pitch black. If you get the call, then turn on the TV and stare at the screen. Your fatigue will increase rapidly. Once it reaches at least 50%, you can go back to sleep. If you did not get the call, then you will wake up like normal the next day. Now, for your second day, your main goal is to go to the island on your boat. Grab a bottle of two-cycle fuel and fill up your boat engine. The last thing you want is to run out of gas halfway back on your boat. Once you get to the island, grab the bucket, the bucket lid, and the fish trap. Side note, being on the island is an easy way to bring down your stress level. Just by being on the island, your stress level will slowly decrease. Keep that in mind for future play. Now, head back home. Once you are home, drop the fish trap next to the dock. Although more fish can be caught if the trap is left near the cabin, for now leave the fish trap near home. With time, fish will appear in the trap, so just keep an eye on that. Bring the bucket and bucket lid to the shower. Fill up the bucket with water. Add one packet of yeast and then six bags of sugar. Close the lid and let the bucket sit. Now, head over to your uncle's shed and start chopping wood. Side note, if your phone is ringing, feel free to pick it up. You will be given missions from that. Most likely, you will be called for a full load of firewood and possibly your grandma. The tasks and the locations will be shown on the map above the phone.
Once you reach your uncle's shed, start chopping wood. Grab the axe, press E or F depending on your key bindings. The axe will now be ready to chop. Face the wood and left click the wood pile when prompted. Hold right click and release to chop the wood. It may take a few times. Once you have a pile of wood at your feet, use the wood collector to easily pick up wood from the ground. I face the wood collector so that I can easily drop the wood into the wagon. You will know that you have a full wagon load once it stops increasing in height after throwing a log into the back of it. That should pretty much wrap up your day. If you are unfamiliar with driving the tractor, then I do not recommend trying to do the firewood delivery on the second day because your fatigue will be very high and learning the game in the dark can be troublesome. Therefore, every few days, depending on your firewood job cooldown setting, you'll deliver firewood. Every few days, you'll have a batch of kiljuju complete, which you must deliver and then go to the landfill to reclaim those empty jugs. You will also periodically need to deliver groceries to grandma. This is the very basic beginning to the game. I will be making more tutorials for each task that you are able to accomplish, so stay tuned. This is Bullvine from Bullvine TV, and I'll see you in the game. Thank you. Like and subscribe below.